Well, this is something I have never seen before. Ever. That is a melanistic caribou. These things are super rare. They are really, really, really hard to find. I mean, I've never even seen one. Look at the red eye on the thing. That is cool. So I'm out in Yukon multiplayer, just so y'all know where I am. But that is amazing. No way. I've never seen one of those. That's so cool. Here she is. Let's take a look. And actually, I want to look at it real quick. Okay. I don't know if it's like supposed to... Oh my gosh. It's the, it's the demon caribou. That is so cool. It's just like solid black. Oh, that is so neat. I love this. Man, I wish it was a male, but either way, that is really, really neat. For whatever reason, I think the melanistic caribou are a whole lot darker than the melanistic um, reindeer. Because I remember seeing a picture of the one that Flinter got, and it was more like just kind of dark on the front half and light on the back half. It basically looked just like a darker common, but this is like solid black. That is so neat. That is really cool. Awesome. Gotta love multiplayer, I'm telling you what. Alright guys, so Yukon Multiplayer has produced a level 5 Plains Bison. I was just running around, and I just, I don't even know. Hopefully if he'll give me a shot... Because I don't mind trotting shots with bison. I take them all the time. So if he would just give me a shot without being behind every other bison in the herd. That would be fantastic. And he should be going down. That looked like it was a good hit. I guess. And yeah, he's, all, he's going down. Awesome. Wow. I mean, I'm just running around. A night hunting caribou and red fox. And this guy just literally runs right in front of me. I got a Plains Bison warning call. And I wanted to see um, what they were. And that's like, he starts climbing the other bison right in front of me. Sometimes I just don't get this game. <laughs> it'll, just, it'll just throw things right at you, it seems like. So, let's see what we've got. And a 230.7 Diamond Plains Bison. Wow. Okay. That's not a bad one. That's my second biggest one ever. My biggest one's a 233. So, yeah. Not half bad. I will take that. Can replace some of the smaller ones in the lodge. Because I have a few that are right around the minimum score. Awesome. Let's go. And I tell you. The trotting shots on Plains Bison. Super easy. So, there we go. That is awesome. I was not expecting to find that at all. Well, hopefully this little bit of a rosy grind has paid off because I see that guy right there, and he's big. And he is a small rack level 5, 368 to 440 estimate. That is a very good estimate. So we're going to get close because elk are kind of bugged right now. They tend to disappear. Like, all the animals are disappearing because of the fur, the furs and whatever. Um, like, the retexturing. But the elk, when they, um, when they disappear, they don't come back a lot. So, I want to get close enough that he doesn't disappear in the first place. So, if I can do that, then we won't have any issues. So, we're going to try and sneak up over here a little bit to this guy. See if we can get a good shot on him. Alright, so all I have on me right now is the M1 because that's what I've been grinding the rosies with. I just find it a little easier to take um, follow up shots with the M1 than the 300 because there's a whole lot less recoil. But that means I want to have a really, really good broadside shot so I can get double lung and don't have to worry about tracking him far and him potentially disappearing on us because. That could turn out to be an issue. Where is he? There he is. I think that's... Yeah, that's got to be him right there. It's the biggest one here. Though There is another max weight estimate one in here as well. So yeah, let's see if we can get a little bit closer as well. Alright, so I think we're about 40 meters away from this elk. Which should be 
close enough and yeah that should do just fine right there I'm gonna zero four 75 and see if we can get that heart shot right there which we did not but I'm not worried about it just please don't kill me and here is our guy right here all right he is going down he should go down here and just say don't go that far don't you do it okay so I don't know if y'all know this there is a bug I think related to the alligators also this has been happening with the elk that if they go too deep in the water they despawn and you will never see them again just like with the alligators and I don't think every animal is supposed to do that but I guess that has been what's happening and I really did not want that to happen so let's see what we've got here and a diamond rosy 382.2 482.28 kg awesome let's go I love the small racks for rosy they look so good and I'm going to love having another one of these in the trophy lodge we can replace that really big level four that we have so yeah fantastic let's go that is so cool and I'm curious is he yeah he is perfectly symmetrical awesome well let's go guys there we go that is another grind over and now we can really just focus on fallow deer and um red deer on quadriculinus so yeah not half bad at all let's go well we have a level three harlequin duck out here in front of us so we're going to go ahead and shoot this guy. Make sure we're using the correct weapon. Would stink if we shot him with the 30 6 Oh, you butt muffin. Started moving right as I got the crosshairs on him. Aggravating. I don't think he's any kind of like feather type or whatever. I think he's just a common. That one there I think is a piebald. This one, I think, is just a regular dude. If he doesn't have a bodyguard, though, take him just like that. Awesome. Hopefully, he'll be a big one. Here is our duck. Let's see what we've got. It's got to go just a little bit further. And a 7.4. Dang. Okay. Oh, well, that's a big one. That is a really big one. I'm curious to see what the decimal is on that. To see how close he was to max but that's a big one you don't see many like that often i think i only have i've killed like 10 diamond harlequin ducks and i only have two now that are 7.4s so that is pretty neat awesome let's go yukon multiplayer yet again is delivering we have a legendary wolf down there so hopefully he will be a big one I um, want to see if maybe they'll like go alert or something and then we can get him or if he'll just like stand up or something come on dude please come on there we go all right if the doggo wouldn't be in the way then just like that he should be going down and no, that's not working. Did we get him that time? Yeah, we got him that time. Okay. I hope I didn't hit him in the nose that first time. But, uh, wow. I, I really hope I didn't hit him right in the nose. But hopefully that got him. Maybe the first shot, watch it, like, go on between the lungs or something. I don't know. It says it was a vital... Wait, no. No, it doesn't. Never mind. That was the second shot. As long as we didn't hit him in the face, I think we'll be okay. And Diamond 39.8. And yeah, I was closer to messing that up than I wanted to be. Um, We got him no problem that time. That was what I was trying to do the first time. But oh, wow. Holy smokes. Okay. Well, I almost screwed that up. But a almost max weight diamond wolf that is pretty cool go ahead and taxidermize that that is really cool 39.8 is my biggest gray wolf ever my only other diamond gray wolf is a 39.4 that i shot on my own map a long time ago 
So yeah, not half bad. That is crazy. Well, up on that ridge while searching for <laughs> Red Fox is something I have not seen in a while. It's an albino moose. Now, unfortunately, it is just a female. But, I mean, albino is albino. I really don't care. It's still pretty neat. You don't see those every day. I think I'm going to try and get a little bit closer. Um, just because sometimes I have a tendency to mess up those laying down shots. And if you mess up a moose, it's going to run a very, very long way before it dies. So, I wonder how far away she is. About 215. You know, I have the 22 with me. Let's just do the 22 trick. And that did not quite work. About now. No. Wow. It's a deaf moose. Okay, there we go. Let's get out the 300. And... Bingo, dead moose going down. I tell you, that bright white is so cool to see. Oh, I love it. Here's our moose. I'm telling you, we're going to find all kinds of stuff while looking for gray fox because it's going to be a long time before we find another one. Not half bad at all. I'm not going to bother taximizing it though because I already have two of these guys. So yeah, not bad.